what are related angles well related angles are the pairs of angles which are related to each other with some given conditions they are pairs of angles which are related to each other with some given conditions now if you're wondering and scratching your head what do we mean by that then let's understand some related angles and on the basis of that discussion we will you will understand what do we mean by this one so the first one is complementary angles complementary angles are those related angles in which the pair of angles the sum of the pair of angles is equal to 90 degree so this is angle abc and this is angle pqr if you add angle abc and angle pqr that is 45 degree and 45 degree what you'll get you'll get 90 degree so we'll say that these two pair of this this one pair of angle that is abc and pqr this pair is actually complementary angles and angle abc that is this angle is complement to this angle pqr and angle pqr is complement to this angle abc that is both these two angles are complement to each other okay complementary angles and complement to each other same thing is here angle abc and angle pqr this pair of angles is actually a complementary angles why 30 degree plus sorry 30 degree plus 60 degree is equal to what 90 degree so these two angles are actually complementary angles they are a pair of angles which are complementary and angle abc is complement to angle pqr and angle pqr is complement to angle abc that is both these two angles are complement to each other the next type of related angles is supplementary angles in this case the sum should be 90 degree in order to be complementary angles in this case the sum of angles should be 180 degree if a pair of angles is in a way that their sum is equal to 180 degree then those two angles are actually supplementary angles okay and those two angles are supplementary to each other like in this case it was the complement to each other in this case two angles are supplement to each other now angle abc is 120 degree and angle pqr is actually 60 degree if we add these two angles then we are will get 180 degree that is supplementary angles and we'll say that angle abc and angle pqr are are supplement to each other in this angle abc is 160 degree and angle pqr is 20 degree if you add them you'll get what 180 degree therefore this pair of angles is also complementary sorry supplementary and angle abc and angle pqr are complement to each other the next related angles is adjacent angles well it's a very interesting interesting kind of angle pair of angles because in this case you'll have one common vertex and you'll have one common arm okay you have one common arm how see here this is one angle angle r q s and we have denoted or represented this particular angle r q s as one uh, angle one right this angle one is angle r q s we have another angle p q r where angle p q r has been represented as angle two so this angle one and this angle two are actually adjacent angles where q is a common vertex and this q r is a common arm okay here we are not you know will not think about what would be some of the angles that doesn't matter what matters is one common arm one common vertex and it should be in this way right same thing here like here you can see that angle abc is angle 2 we have represented it 
using angle 2 and angle C, B, D is actually angle 1. In this case, B is a common vertex because C, B, D and A, B, C, B is a common vertex for both these two angles and B, C, this is a common arm because C, B, D, here also this is common arm, uh, is a arm and A, B, C, B, C is also the arm in this case, therefore B, C is a common arm. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 in this case and angle 1 and angle 2 in this case, in both these two cases, this pair of angles will be said to be adjacent angles, will be said to be adjacent angles and these two angles are adjacent to each other. Okay. Now, in this case, this is actually linear pair. The next type of related angles is linear pair. Now, this linear pair is actually a kind of adjacent angles, is a kind of adjacent angles where, like in this case, sorry, in this case of adjacent angles, we can see that this was a common arm, right? But the non-common arms, that is this arm QP and QS, these are two non-common arms. You can see that they were separated from each other, right? This is in this direction and this is in this direction. It's a spatial, spatial case in this case, that is a linear pair, the non-common arms are actually opposite. They are forming opposite rays. From the same vertex, common vertex B, this is going in this direction and exactly in opposite direction is actually this common non-common arm. BC is the common arm. This is a special kind of adjacent angles where one non-common arm is actually exactly opposite ray to the uh, another one. Right? In this case, the non-common arms were not exactly in the opposite direction, but in this case, it is in the opposite direction. Right? So, in this case, BC is a common arm and in this one, QR is a common arm where QP and QS are non-common arms and they are in exactly opposite direction. Now, if we represent this angle by angle 1 and this angle by angle 2, this angle by angle 1 and this angle by angle 2, then in the case of linear pair, the most important thing is that angle 1 plus angle 2 in both these two cases should be equal to 1 80 degree should be equal to 180 degree now you'll say that hey that means that it should it will be supplementary to each other right they would be supplement to each other exactly in linear pair linear pair is a special kind of adjacent angles where two non-common arms are actually running exactly opposite to each other in the direction and when you'll add these two angles then the sum of the angles should be equal to 180 degree. It means that they are supplement to each other, right? They are supplement to each other. Therefore, linear pair will, con will contain uh, adjacent angle also and supplementary angles also, right? Okay. The last kind of related angles or the type of related angles is vertically opposite angles. In this case, what's important is there should be two lines, line L and line M. They should intersect each other at one common point. Let's denote it with some vertex O, okay? Let it, this be a vertex O. Now, in this case, this angle 1 and this angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4 again angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 this one and angle 4 this pair of angles and this pair of angles are vertically opposite angles and when they are formed when two lines intersect to each other so this is 
this pair is vertically opposite angles and this pair is also vertically opposite angles and the most important thing is angle 4 and angle 3 that is this angle and this angle will be equal that is the vertically opposite angles will always be equal the measure will be always equal and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 even in this case vertically opposite angles are always equal okay so this was actually a very brief discussion on uh, related angles uh, in the next couple of videos in the series of videos we will discuss each of these you know complementary angles supplementary angles adjacent angles linear pair angles and vertically opposite angles this we'll discuss in detail in our next series of videos so see you in the next videos thank you